What's up? I am Silver Spies, and this is Gwent. In this video, I have an exceptionally spicy list for you today. Uh, it's a Guerrilla Tactics movement deck. Now, uh, I was inspired to build this deck uh, when I was watching some old Gwent the other day. I was watching Gwent Slam number two, and uh, that was from the meta, the meta directly before Midwinter, uh, where Golden Weather was everywhere. <laughs> there were a bunch of Golden Weather mirror matches. Uh, I certainly don't miss that meta. But it was interesting to see how the game has evolved since then and changed. Uh, Drought is gone. White Frost is gone. Ragnarok is still here. It's not the monster that it used to be. But in a Guerrilla Tactics deck, and a deck with a lot of movement, it can still achieve some pretty serious value. Um, kind of go down the list here. Playing R and R, playing a lot of the kind of standard Scoyatel cards up in the high provision slots, along with a poison package. Um, playing a lot of movement bronzes and Melina, the movement engine. I think one of the most underrated cards in the game right now, if you get her going in the right deck. And a couple of crushing traps, which regular, regularly achieve double-digit value for just six provisions. So, as always, uh, the deck list will be available in the video description. Let's get into some games. You bore me, so vanish! Alright, up against an uprising deck here. I'm gonna get rid of... I think the Miner first. And then the Mahaka Marauder. I wanna keep those four provision dwarfs in the deck. Smile only your blood. Justice. Gonna be on red coin here. Uh, I think I'm gonna try and set up uh Dole! Blasana! An engine with sentries and matrons here. That sort of engine can really spiral out of control. I had a hammer! I had a hammer in the morning! I guess I could have just answered that. I could answer this one. And I think I will. Slaughter them to a man! I was playing a little too fast there. Let's slow it down, take a deep breath, try and get a hold of ourselves here. You know, you always want to get those engines going early. But uh Sometimes you got to take care of some other business first. You see? You must hold it between your teeth, like so. Huh. Now I'll get that matron working. <laughs> Do not make me beg. Followed by, I think, the second one, and then a treant boar. Also might be looking for some poison targets here. What's on my Isengrim's Council? Is it guaranteed to get a poison? It is guaranteed to get a poison, so that's worth uh, considering as well. But right now I just want to get this First, learn to flash. engine working. Come forth, coward, and your own doom confront! Interesting. I'm 
I can kill that with two leader charges. It's an expensive commitment. But it might be worth it. I think I'm gonna do it. Start with Vor. I just, I don't want him touching my engines here. These are my engines, sir. Leave them alone. Thank you. Now the round should be out of reach for him. The traitors will pay for what they did. Well, perhaps not just yet. Let's see, how many points are on this uh, Isengrim's Council? I can poison... My poison is worth six here. So yeah, he's still in trouble. The only good human is a dead human. Leave while you still stand. Maybe I'll poison. Ah, eh, no. Poison that. Get ahead. Still got Weeping Willow in the deck. So I don't necessarily have to achieve this poison just yet. They would have put the bloody vodka. I think I'll get these uh <sighs> Marauders a hearty started. hankering for Gwent. Okay. Couple leader charges, sure. I am ready. Sabrina. Interesting. I think I'm going to move the boar. Three points, losing one. I'm gaining two points, so he is ahead here. I think I've got no choice but to continue pushing. have muddled your minds. Alright, let's see here. I have... 5, 6, 8... 8 points on Crushing Trap, 2 points on the Dwarf, it's 10... 
And nine, ten, I can do twenty. Alright. So he had to commit his win condition here just to get out of the round. He's going to be in some trouble going forward. Don't think I want Ragnarok anymore. Kadmel and Shay. It is a card that I could potentially use in this third round, but I was a little concerned he might push me there in the second round. In which case it would be a real liability. I wouldn't mind drawing back into it at this point. Okay, there it is. I think I'll keep this Mahakam Defender. No regret, Injustice still has a target, right? Yes, yes it does. Alright, I guess this is the hand. Beneath the ground rest countless wretches and corpses. Long live, etc., etc. Followed up with the Mahakam Defender. Destiny is unswerving. Cheated. It will not be. Next. Music marries cultures, connects folk to one another. No audiences. There's tower today. Then Ragnarok. Sands to snows. So the question is, what do I want to use uh, my last leader charge on? Is it going to be Morale, or is it going to be Molina? What removal does he have left? I think it's going to be the Molina. Molina gets two points with every movement. We elves have our paths. Don't worry about me. She shuts down this card. Huh. 
Stay true to our way, we must always. Follow that up with morale. A dagger? <laughs> Where is the challenge? And I think I'll take this opportunity to move the cleaver's muscle to the back for my oak. Away from my wares! Away! Okay, cool. Looks like this one's just about over. Nice. Pretty decisive, I would say. I Sintra will rise from the ashes. All right. Very nice win for the movement deck. GG. Looks like we're moving up ranks as well. Getting closer to pro rank. Let's see what we can do at rank 5. That was a very satisfying third round, I've got to say. I like this deck a lot. It's spicy, but I don't think it's a meme. I think it's good. It's for real. Cordion can accent it. Here's another long round test for us. Don't think I'm gonna need two of these. But I don't have two poisons, so I think I'm gonna get rid of the ranger. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of uh, that's a lot of movement engines. Okay, Admel and Shay. You love to see all of your, all of your movement engines here, all of your bronze movement engines against a deck that plays no disruption whatsoever. First, not learn to fletch. I should be able to disrupt his Kiki more queens with my own movement. Ah, this will shoot through. Cute little engine you have there. Kayam!
check this out. You wanna flip a max? Maybe I should have gone ahead and used the crystal skull there. I wouldn't mind forcing him out. What is that? Seven points a turn? That's pretty strong. The naivety is a fool's blessing. With humans? I buy thus. Ked Sao indeed. <laughs> oh my. What's that hidden four provision card? The miner? Interesting. Figus? I don't really need Defender. But he's still gonna be stronger than the Dragoon. I don't think I'm going to push him. I should be able to disrupt his Kiki more Queens without too much trouble. And then punish his stacked rows. I'm gonna take a pass. I'm not scared. Not even a little bit. I would like to draw into Oak. Or Ragnarok. Some more poisons. Well, looks like I'm only gonna get Ragnarok. I'm not gonna get Oak or Tree and Boar. We'll see if that's a problem. It could be. Not make me beg. Oh, that's right. Oak is higher than Ragnarok. I got the provisions backward there. He's not going to have it. Death right? can come where blood does not. <laughs> hmm. 
There we go. While you still stand. Peace out, Kiki Morse. You knock him off that horse. Got a hearty hankering for Gwent. It's gonna be a pretty straightforward right, play it out on. sort of game. This way. Fast. Maybe I should be getting the Molina down. In fact, yeah, I could have got the Molina down a turn earlier. Well, I can kill that Barbagazi. I'll go ahead and do that. It'll be personal. Never ever whistle in a mind. Yeah, I screwed up pretty bad by not playing the Molina earlier. Just got a little bit cocky after I removed those Kiki Moors. That's gonna cost me a lot of points. So yeah, uh, I'm not going to win this game by as many twang. points as I could have. Still going to win it. <laughs> GG, Kiki Morris. And uh, let that be a lesson to all of you out there. Don't play too fast. You're going to miss a lot of points. You're going to throw some games. You're going to make some mistakes. Use the rope. That's what it's there for. Plan your turns out ahead of time. Take your time. Think it through. Don't play too fast. And uh, try this deck out. It's pretty good. It's pretty fun. That's all for now. I'll see you next time with more Gwent.